Morning. What's up, y'all? It's Kyle with Big Iron Patina. Welcome back. So we just finished up a 750 on a trailer. Uh, I'm super stoked about it. This is one of the funnest builds we've ever done. This took two and a half months. I've been slaving 60 hours a week, but uh, it's finally done. Henry with Broken Horn, Horn Barbecue. That's kind of it's a little early, guys. Bear with me. Henry with Broken Horn Barbecue. Thank you so much, uh, you guys. Y'all gotta watch out for Henry. He's gonna be out there. So this is going to San Antonio with Broken Horn Barbecue. Uh, and Henry and his brother are veterans. Thank you for your service. We love you guys. You know, freedom ain't free, guys. Uh, so that right there made me wanna just uh, do, do the best I possibly could. I mean, I do on every build, but you know, that just pushes it over the top. Guys, it's real early. Sorry, you're gonna hear like a landscaping crew back here, but uh, Henry's on his way. He can't wait to pull this back to San Antonio, so I wanted, wanted to get this knocked out. There's a little bit of dew on the unit. I had it on the trailer last night and on the truck last night, but uh, I figured I got a green smoker, and Wes Wicker gave me a green Big Wick shirt. Oh, yeah. Not sponsored, guys, but if y'all haven't tried Big Wick's glaze, you got to get after it. That stuff is delicious. Uh, but, Wes, if you're watching, I could use a bottle of Fuego. All right, so without further ado, y'all let's walk around the Broken Horn Barbecue's new rig. I'm ecstatic, I can't wait to fire this bad boy up when Henry shows up. Come on, let's roll. y'all where do we begin we got the four horsemen I think Henry said that has something to do with his brothers and his dad you know symbolize a little bit of that there guys we got a uh, like every trailer oh parking lots are going out Sorry. we got a two inch ball up front seven pin connector um, Propane, of course. Uh, we've got a breakaway for the brakes. Um, we've got those recessed uh, wood rack panels we've been doing. Henry wanted a, uh, a 90 instead of a collector. You know, that's all personal preference. I've seen you guys argue about it. I'm not going to put in my two cents, but I think it looks good. I know it's going to cook good. Guys, we got the new, these are my new uh, weightless um counterweights now you do have to run some little clips going down the road okay because you don't want your doors opening up or anything but a while, a while back i really didn't like them clips too much but once i built this i was like man i'll deal with the clips so check it out let me see if i get this sorry guys i want to show y'all pinky this door weighs like 120 pounds something like that so these are the new weightless doors it's pretty freaking sweet effortless you know what I mean and they look pretty cool too uh, so we went with a little nut theme on the side of those like Frankenstein you know he's got the nuts in the side of his neck so that was pretty sweet Speaking of Frankenstein, there he is. We set him up with these uh, cool fenders. Um, those were a lot of work, but they got kind of the bagger style Harley look. I really like them, and I'm glad Henry let us go with the Coker 225s. I hate when they're they're too small. I like those big tires actually filling it out, so that's pretty sweet. Of course, we got the trues on there. Got the visors. Got the water pan fill. Y'all, that comes free with them units. I always, always hook y'all up with that water pan fill. I mean, even if you don't use it, at least you got it. So we had to do the cool Frankenstein name like the old school movie. And we've got the uh, sight glass, of course. Butterfly damper. 
fully insulated box. This thing has the insulated bottom in the cook chamber too. I guess I should stick with the smoker. I'm trying to walk all the way around this thing, guys. Like I said, y'all, there's a little dew on the fenders, but uh, y'all get the picture. So we did pullouts top and bottom, 304 stainless. You talk about a big pullout. That is a big old, let's get to the side. Y'all, these, these videos don't do stuff justice, but when you see that, yeah, you can see it that way. Top pullout too. Obviously, y'all know all them tops are always pullouts. So let me slide these back in. And guys, we got an insulated bottom in there. All right. So basically, there's three inches of insulation underneath that. I know some of y'all don't. You don't see it, and y'all ask questions all the time. But man, this does give you uh, a lot of things. So for one thing, if you have a cold spell, like let's say you have a, a really cold front come in during the winter, really cold, cold front, uh, you don't have that cold influence in the bottom of your cook chamber which is in turn causing everything to be colder in your cook. So you're, you're burning more wood. Well, that, that cancels that out. Now also, if you think about it, those extra plates we put on the bottom heat up, okay? Once those are heated up, now you've got your better convection from the bottom. I mean, once you really think about it, you'll see what I mean. So you're actually getting better cooking, better convection we tested these on the thousands. If y'all want to go back to that video, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, even it's in 60 degree weather, we uh, we used 40% less splits. And uh, that was Jonathan that runs uh, 1,000 gallons daily uh, as a pit master. So that says a lot and everybody seems to be loving them. Um, and you still have a great traditional flow smoker. You don't have, you know, stupid reverse flow. Sorry guys, I just don't like reverse flows that much. Anyway, you still have a traditional flow, but great convection on the bottom, which is pretty freaking sweet. Now Henry decided he wanted the uh, nose grate in it too. That's the first nose grate we've done out of three or four stainless. And then obviously he wanted the middle grates in between. So he's got all the real estate. Uh, I mean, this thing is gonna be sweet. Now, of course we got our baffle design, y'all with the holes in it. So he's gonna have a lot of the uh, a lot of that hot side diminished too, so he's gonna have a ton of real estate up here, not having to run point blockers and all that. So, oh man, if you're running these doors daily, that is just sweet to have weightless counterweights. And guys, we have a flip stack here. I'm not gonna lift it up right now. It is pretty heavy, uh, but y'all y'all get the picture on that, and it's pretty tall. I wanted to give it a a little bit more being a 750 than my 500 so it pull even better uh, and uh, what we did too rather than mount a whole winch up front and all that business we uh, we made a pole here oh by the way if you have an insulated bottom you don't have to worry about your spare tire melting so we get to mount it underneath and not all ugly on the side of the trailer uh, and that's pretty neat so what we got here is a pole and what I did it's got a quick clip Matter of fact, I'll pull that off so I can show y'all real quick. So what that pole does, it lifts your stack up. You can pull it out. There's only one clip on the front, which is sweet because you don't want to go behind that fender and clip one. Just pull that out. Sorry, y'all. Trying to operate this gimbal here. Take that handle right there. Whoop, push it on up. Latch it. And you put the pole back. So that's pretty neat. The four horsemen I threw some aluminum runners on here those runners have uh, stainless allen head bolts stainless nuts on the backside so that way Henry's not scratching up that that black paint on that fender uh, with trays and whatnot everything he's bringing out there sorry about that wire guys that's just to hold the handle when I went and got her weighed 6620 pounds Whew. I always wire this thing so it doesn't pop off going down the road. Let's say I hit a crazy bump or something. Um, there's the inside of the firebox. And uh, y'all can see that I uh, insulate the back. I insulate the door jam. 
this is about as efficient as you can get all right i did another video y'all but i'll go over it again real quick uh so this is the first unit that we've done propane assist on and i went ahead and designed this stuff uh to be used on other units as well this box is fully serviceable it has uh stainless uh steel screws you can take the cover off um the bottom is open so you'll be able to spray soap up in there and check for leaks uh guys remember be safe out there this stuff is uh this is not made to run the smoker i did this with a fire this is only made to light the fire guys yeah everybody uses weed burners to light their fire we've done it for years um this is just going to simplify things you still need to be safe take some butcher's paper roll it up light it throw it under the torch then come over here with your fireplace key and turn on the propane only use it to light the fire it says it here on the label and turn it back off guys i can't stress that enough propane is not uh not something to fool with we got to be safe guys all right so anyway i'll be able to add i don't know what i'm going to call those torches but uh, it's like a propane assist i'll be able to add those to any build so y'all just let me know um we did some nice little subtle pinstriping on here too i told bo i was gonna pinstripe it and the next thing i know he, he was in there uh at home every day uh practicing and uh i think it turned out excellent man really cool so guys we're gonna add pinstriping to the uh the list if you want to add it to your trailers and uh, it's done right here in house it helps bo out helps us out helps y'all out win-win all right, so we've got a two burner stove with the uh, the blue burners, blue flame burners. We've got the uh, burn box. So if y'all don't know what this is, oh, well, we better go on and jump to the direct heat cooker so you know what, what it is. Six foot by two foot direct heat cooker. Um, this thing's fully insulated. Uh, I say fully everything but the lid every wall is insulated the doors are insulated we've got intakes on the doors we've got intakes in the side as well my same butterflies okay we've got log lighters in that too if you want to uh, light your your fires with raw post oak or whatever uh, whatever you cook with inside that but we'll go back to that the burn box is what everybody's been doing I'm calling this the incinerator and what we've got here is like a shelf up top with big gaps in it uh that's big three quarter inch rods too guys so that stuff will last stack your splits up top light your torch get your splits lit and they drop their coals down below then you take a flat shovel scoop out coals throw them in the direct heat cooker uh, you could also throw them in the smoker box if you want, um, you know, to get that real clean burn in the smoker box. Uh, so everything, y'all, has pillow block, greasable bearings on it, every door. Um, you know, we, we had to do our, our classic handles that Pig Iron uses. And uh, they spin. They have bronze bushings in them. Uh, guys, it's cold. And uh, sorry about those Teltrus being a little fogged up, but it's just the outside there's a dew on them the broken horn barbecue y'all uh y'all see them out there support them uh help us out uh these guys are about to be putting on a show hopefully y'all see this thing at the festivals and stuff like that i'm stoked um so anyway on the sides here y'all i have some latches just in case going down the road you don't have to worry about anything happening a lid popping open or anything like that so let's pop these latches off guys it's, these lids have struts now that lid too has the pillow block bearings on the back so that's greasable there's a hell of a walk around here we got a lot going on here all right guys so we've got a uh, 304 stainless grade up top i mean we had to continue with the theme um and then these doors, you know, they have the uh, the nice uh, walk-in cooler handles on them. So you can just pop them back in, pop them out one-handed. All right. Like I say, y'all, these are inch and a half thick doors. So they are uh, loaded with insulation, quarter inch, quarter inch. 
uh, they're heavy. Now we also gave him grease runoff. You'll see some of these direct heat cookers, they're just cooking right on, on those uh, angle iron, right? Well, this is just a grease runoff. It's gonna catch 50% of the grease. I couldn't really get them spaced too tight or you, you wouldn't be cooking as good. It's gonna catch 50% of the grease and, uh, and what it does is, let me open this to make sure this door doesn't hit anything, guys. I'm on a little slant here. All right. So we gave him also some hot grates down below. Uh, most of the time I take those out, but use them when you need to uh, sear steaks or whatever you're doing. I mean, you reverse searing steaks or you want to cook something hot. There you go. Throw these little grates in, rock and roll. And uh, guys, the bottom is completely open and uh, easy to uh, clean out. So yeah, there's our new direct heat cookers. And uh, y'all get with me. Tell me if y'all want me to make your direct heat cooker different. Uh, y'all know how I am. I will, uh, I will build whatever you dream up. So, also, you got the little stacks up here. They're threaded. Go ahead and raise them up wherever you want. And y'all, I did that with big ass three quarter bolts. I don't want y'all to do something that's gonna be uh, acting finicky when you're trying to move it around. I want it to work pretty good. So, oh yeah, <laughs> a little touch here. I was like, man, if they're shoveling out coals out of that burn box, they're gonna mess that paint up on that fender. So came up with a cool idea. I was like, grip tape, that's gonna be the key. So we grip taped that front of that fender so the coals can just roll off that fender and not tear up the paint. Y'all, I don't know what y'all think, but I think this thing turned out killer and I can't wait to uh, take a trip out to San Antonio and, and, and cook with Henry on it. Um, hopefully we'll see y'all at the festivals. May your smoke run clean and your beer run cold, my friends. Adios.